so uh, now let's talk about like that uh, how we can evaluate the machine learning models so say we have a data and uh, we choose different bunch of models to make the predictions or to make the classifications, uh, clustering, et cetera. And now we have the results. So how do we know that which one is, uh, is the best one? So, well, uh, for the supervised learning model, uh, because we know the right answers um, for the model, for the data that we brought to the model, so it's easy for us to compare the predict results against the real results, and then we all know that how accurate our model is. And if the model has very high accuracy, and then we can bring the model to make predictions on the new data. <clears throat> so for the regression models, uh, the techniques are the same. So we can use R square or the mean square errors that as you have learned in the statistics. So basically, so for example, that if we have the uh, house price and we have the size of the house and we also have the type of the house so if we are going to use size to predict price and we will have our predicted result okay so and we have our original results of price so those are true results and also predict one and we can compare the predict one and also the the uh, the, the accurate results the price um, and so we can compare the differences by using the R square and also the mean square errors. So if the model have huge R square and also small uh, MSE, then that is a great model. Okay, uh, so that for the, for the regression models. For the classification models, so that means that we where the, our target will be categorical data. So for example, the house type. So it can be a townhouse, it can be a single family house. So in this case, the output will no longer be numbers. So those are will be categorical data. So different type of the houses in this case. In that case, again, we're going to use a predict result. So townhouse, a single family house against the original, the true data. But we're using different mirrors. So the mirror is called accuracy, F1 score, recall, or precision. So I will talk that one in, on the next slide. Uh, for the unsupervised models, we know that for unsupervised models, we, because we, we don't have the, the true answer, the right answer, um, the goal is really that when you have the data points, you want to make sure that uh, the data that have the similar features are grouped together. So that is for unsupervised learning, for clusterings. So that the ultimate goal is for the unsupervised learning. And in that case, uh, there are several ways to measure the performance of the uh, unsupervised models. The sum of R, uh, R squares distance is one. <clears throat> so basically that means that we calculate the center of each class, so the distance for all the point to its closest centers. Okay, the so distance between uh, the each single point to its closest centers. So if we did a pretty good job, so if we captured, we classed grouped all the points into their best clusters, then the sum of the square distance will be relatively smaller. Okay, so that's one, I, one way that we can evaluate the unsupervised models. Okay, uh, so back to the classification. Uh, so for classifications, the way that we're measuring the accuracies is what we call based on this confusion matrix. Okay, so confusion matrix will compare the actual value against the predict values for each single category, for each single outcome. So for example, in this case, the possible outcome will be true or false. Okay, the possible outcome will be true or false. So um, here we have the, the real true and also real false. So the real positive and also real negative. And then we compare that one with the predicted positive and also predicted negative. And we count the number of times that 
um, how many times we predict the true as true and also how many times we predict negative as negative. Okay, so in this, so this is what we call the confusion matrix. So here we have the, the positive that we predict as positive, so that is correct. And here we have the negative that predict as negative, so that is also correct. So that is called true negative and also true positive. And in this cell, so that is mean that it was negative, but we predict it as positive. So that is a wrong answer, and that what we call it false positive. And similarly here, so that is should be positive, but we predict as negative. So that is also a wrong answer. So that's what we call it false negative. So here, for example, that um, this is one example that I, I used to predict uh, the house sales um, on the market. So here I predict, so, okay, whether or not that house has been sold. So whether or not there's a contract on that house. So uh, if the house is sold and also model predict as sold, so that is true positive. And if the house is not sold and also we predict not sold, then that is true negative. And here, this means that uh, the house was not sold, but has been predicted as sold. So that is a false um, positive. And here we can see that the house actually has been sold, but the model predicted that as not sold. So that is a false negative. Okay, so true positive, the house is actually sold or pending, but we predict as pending. So that's right. True negative, the house is not sold or not pending, but we predict correctly predict, we also predict correctly not pending, so that's also correct. False positive, so that for example the house is not sold, but we predict as sold. So that we are also called the type one error. And false negative is something that we call the type two error. Okay, so that is a confusion matrix. And based on the confusion matrix, and we can calculate those measures. So we can calculate accuracy, we can calculate precision, we can calculate recall, and we can also calculate the, the F1 spots. So accuracy is defined that the total correct predictions divided by the total number of the records of your data. So that is accuracy. So the fraction of the correct predictions. Precision is that the true positive divided by the true positive plus false positive. So it matters how accurate our positive prediction are. Recall is the true positive divided by the true positive plus false negative. So it measures the fraction that false positives, the positives of our model identified. And F1 score is a kind of combination of precision and also recall. Okay, so normally it's the, this value is between those two values. Okay, uh, so it, it is very easy to understand that we have accuracy. But you may be wondering that why do we need precision and also recall and also even F1 score. Okay, so that is a recall and F1 score kind of capture some uh, uh, how confident the, the your model is. So for example, if your model is very aggressive, that means if your model always predict yes, even there's a tiny little confidence. So the model is super, super confident. And for that type of model, the result normally will have high recall, but low precision. Okay, so if the model is very aggressive, and that model will have high recall, but low precision. If the model is very conservative, so that means if the model only make predictions when the model is extremely confident, and normally, the output of that model will have low recall, but high precision. Okay, so low recall, but high precision. So that means that if you want to have a very aggressive model, then you have to choose a model that have high recalls. 
Uh, if you want have a very conservative model, and then you have you want to have a model that have high precision. And also depending on your need. So sometimes you want a more aggressive model, and sometimes you want a more conservative model. Okay, so let's see one example. Okay, so here we have the same table, and also now I provide the, the formula. So what is the accuracy of this model? And what is precision, recall, and also F1 score? Okay, so accuracy is that the all the correct predictions divided by the all the total number of the records. So, so, okay, total number of records, so that's 0.71. So it's it's not bad. So the accuracy is so far it's okay. Uh, precision is much higher, so it is 80%, and recall is lower. So you can see for the for the same model, the recall and precision will slightly well sometimes will be different. So in this case, the precision is higher, but the recall is lower. And F1 score is, is in the between, so it's 0.67. Okay, so it's, it's, it's in the middle between the recall and also precision. 